and there may be some people in the audience tonight hoping that it might be them. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that made us love Sebastian Stan. Why do so many people have a crush on Sebastian Stan? He looks like a potato. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at this actor's most memorable moments on screen, both as himself and in character. What's your favorite Sebastian Stan moment? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Perfecting the Winter Soldier's Signature Move Captain America The Winter Soldier The Winter Soldier's signature knife flip is a memorable flourish that left viewers seriously impressed. While Stan makes the move look effortless, it apparently took weeks to practice to get it just right. The actor shared that he'd take pretty much any opportunity to brandish a plastic knife in the lead-up to filming that iconic fight scene. My friends were making fun of me. I was just kind of like walking around the house for a while, just sort of flipping this plastic knife. I mean, I was like driving in intersections and just flipping it in the car. Five, six, seven. Oh, oh, oh! Yes! It really shows his dedication to the role, especially as it was actually performed by a stunt double in the movie. This was actually the first thing we shot in the street, was me fighting Chris. So it was, it was bananas, <laughs> like the first time I'm ever in costume, and it's like, yeah, you're gonna do the knife flip. <laughs> okay, don't drop the knife, okay. Did you drop the knife ever? Still, watching him in rehearsals is thrilling. He's got the choreography down to a T, and the knife toss is just as exciting no matter how many times we see it. It's all kind of a choreography, so it's sort of it's sort of like a dance that you that you share with somebody, and there's so many little technicalities about spacing. Number nine, getting his flirt on with Sharon Stone, the Late Late Show with James Corden. While visiting the Late Late Show, Stan met his teenage crush Sharon Stone and took the opportunity to shoot his shot. Probably about 15 years. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I feel like I've seen you all my life. <laughs> and here you are in person and you look so great. You're a joke! You're ridiculous! You're a funny guy for it! You're actually going for it! We love his assuredness as he flirts with the actress. Seemingly forgetting that James Corden, Zach Woods, or the audience are even there. But that's just fine, we're happy to watch him. And clearly, the actors got game. He obviously wasn't expecting her response, but his reaction's just as endearing and hilarious. How, you, how would one ask Sharon Stone on a date in Romania? Kind of like this, Jeff Fudge. Would you bite me in the neck? Oh my god. What just <laughs> You can tell how excited he is to be beside her, and he can't resist making his feelings known at any opening. I can't believe it must be so bizarre for the people who you, who come to give you a this massage. This is what they get. Yeah. Is you. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. It's entertaining and charming, and all we can say is Stone's one lucky lady. Thank you for this tonight. It's just, it's just so kind. Number eight, cooking Greek food, Pam and Tommy. One, two, three. Carlos Irtate. Tommy Lee is no angel in the biographical miniseries, but one of the character's standout moments is when he channels his frustration into something appetizing. He's angry after the Motley Crue centered Behind the Music episode implies that the group's recent album bombed. So when Pam comes home, she's greeted by Tommy and a full-on Greek feast. This is Domadid. Stuffed grape leaves. Hold on. Oh my god. Spanakopita! <laughs> he serves up the dishes with such enthusiasm. And it's precisely how we all want our meals presented from now on. Oh. An eggplant dip and the crown jewel. <laughs> the moussaka. <laughs> what is it? I ain't even gonna say, but that shit's straight oh up praise! It also portrays a distinct chemistry between the pair as they work through a plethora of emotions together. I love you. I love you more. Mm -mm, not possible. This scene left us drooling. And not just because the food looks delicious. 
Number seven, discovering his spice tolerance, hot ones. Ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you knew it was coming. It I was, was waiting, like a I was subtle, reading, yeah. Yeah, just a subtle time bomb. <laughs> Ticking away. <laughs> when Sebastian Stan embarked on the Hot Ones Challenge, he didn't really seem to know what he was getting himself into. Regardless, he puts on an impressive show, fighting back tears and choking out answers while coming to terms with his spice threshold. It's because we don't often speak in life and we communicate things even when we don't say anything and, and sort of just that in itself might be more challenging sometimes. Oh, this phoenix is <laughs> definitely crawling up my back. We learn a lot about the actor, ranging from his various jobs and desire to host a food show with Anthony Mackie, to his interest in the West Side Highway and astronomy. Do I talk about all these things publicly? <laughs> Why? Even though he's clearly in a lot of pain, he perseveres and is as charming as always. Uh, yeah. I love the, uh, <coughs> I love milk. <clears throat> It's one of his best interviews, but we have no doubt he was happy when it was over. Viva la vida loca. <laughs> Number six, what does the moo cow say? 100 monologues. I'm gonna come back as a baby lion and spend my next life just bopping around, doing that mountain lion thing. In 2014, the Theater Communications Group published Eric Bogosian's acclaimed collection of monologues, while Bogosian himself began posting video performances of them, one per week, until all 100 were online. Stan's contribution, Highway, where he plays an unsuccessful hitchhiker, is particularly memorable. While waiting for a ride, he talks about his life and the events that led to this moment. It's quite a thoughtful piece about living life to the fullest, even if you have to stray off the beaten path alone. However, one highlight sees the actor break from his more serious and subdued tone to explain what sound the moo cow makes. Like when you're in kindergarten, you're coloring in your coloring book, what does the doggy say? Bow wow. What does the kitty say? Meow meow. What does the moo cow say? Ah! Nevertheless, the performance highlights his wide-reaching talents and proves he deserves more leading roles. And I got one ticket and I gotta make the ride count, you know? And as far as I figure, you can either take the service road or the scenic route, and, man. <laughs> Number five, roasting Tom Holland with Anthony Mackie. Guys, look, I'd love to keep this up, but I've only got one job here today, and I gotta impress Mr. Stark, so I'm really sorry. What? <laughs> you couldn't have done that earlier? I hate you. The ever-growing MCU cast has treated us to plenty of unforgettable pop culture moments. It also gifted us this iconic bromance and the relentless good-natured ribbing of Tom Holland. I was the first person to fight Spider-Man in the MCU. Tom Holland? I mean, that's... figures, right? I guess we helped him out. We're not sure whether it's his youthfulness, Britishness, or that he once played Billy Elliot, but the Falcon and the Winter Soldier really have it in for Spider-Man. He has two assistants now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just, it's so it's much. Full truth. It's, it's full truth. It's, get out of here, man. It's so the much. The silent whisperer, yeah. Yes, God. Well, I'm like Billy nice Elliot. Nice get guy. out of here. Ultimately, they're just concerned that Holland's success will go to his head, and that he'll get a bit too big for his web. It'd be hard to come by an interview where they don't roast the young Brit. Yet, it's always entertaining. So you don't want to be in the Spider-Man movie? I have no desire to <laughs> well, hang out with Tom. You clearly just realize that he's not. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, Holland knows how to dish it back just as well. I need to watch this movie. You ever seen Spider-Man Homecoming? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen the Falcon Oh no, there isn't one, sorry. <laughs> Number four, opening up about his heritage, IndieWire. Well, Romania's never been nominated, you know, at the Oscars. I mean, there's been so, it's, it's kind of crazy to me because obviously there's been so much talent coming out of Romania in the last, you know, I would say even 20 years. Sebastian was just eight years old when he and his mom left Romania following the revolution and fall of communism. In light of the Oscar-nominated documentary Collective, 
Stan and filmmaker Alexander Nanau shared their experiences and memories of leaving their birth country and settling somewhere foreign. For a few years, until I was about 16, 17, I felt like, you know, I was, though I felt like a lot of shame. I felt a lot of fear to, to say I'm Romanian. The actor divulged that he developed a complex relationship with his native Romania, and it took him years to finally embrace his heritage. He also shared how his past shaped his career and influenced his determination to tell the right stories. Essentially not to just, you know, uh, learn by osmosis about yourself as you're as you're working on something, but but also that you're telling the right stories that the right stories have, you know, are, are that you're helping tell the right stories. It's intriguing to hear him shed light on a lesser understood part of the immigrant experience. He now hopes to learn more about his former homeland. Number three, entertaining us from quarantine. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Nothing said 2020 more than this video of Sebastian Stan going through all the stages of quarantine in about 90 seconds. I was taking my clothes off and like, you know, in my hallway and, and running them to the washing machine and then washing every little thing in the in the, you know, in the sink. It starts with him standing around, unsure of what to do, before cutting to him washing his hands and cleaning the house pretty thoroughly. Like many of us did, he goes through several time-wasting activities, such as trying to catch food in his mouth and reading an apparently hysterical book. <laughs> But once he pops the cork, the party really gets started. He jams out to hit after hit, showcasing some impressive vocal range. I wanna know what love is. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Eventually, though, he seemingly exhausted all forms of quarantainment, except for flicking a light switch on and off. Number two, Anthony Mackie takes over his interview, Entertainment Tonight. My God, Do you remember Sebastian her? Stan. <laughs> Man, you're looking good. I'm here for uh, Forrest Gump. During a chat with Entertainment Tonight, Sebastian Stan's interview gets commandeered by his Captain America co-star. You ever see a guy this handsome walk in the streets? He's gonna get arrested because he's killing all the ladies. Look at that. Pow, 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 pow. Mackie's the ultimate hype man, singing his friend's praises before grabbing the mic and taking charge. This moment gives us a glimpse into their friendship that we can only imagine is even more fun behind the scenes. I'm not a player, I just shower a lot, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you wearing tonight? I mean, that's a little black on blue on gray on black, I like that. I'm in the wow, Prada. you like you a lot of parada? That's not me, that's Jay-Z. Watching the pair vibe and bring out the best in each other is really enjoyable, and it's obvious that their friendship is genuine. We're not sure any seasoned interviewer could have scored anything quite as entertaining. I know, and I said that's because I've been going after your workout, which is legs only. Legs only. <laughs> legs only. When in doubt, got to get those thighs of betrayal. Hey, not trying to brag, but the thighs are the way to heaven. You know what I mean? You just know that it's bound to be a barrel of laughs any time they're on set together. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Winter's Children, Empire Magazine. A great nickname for the Winter Soldier stands. That's a good one. That's a good one. Put you on the spot. Winter's now. children. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the <most> Winter's <laughs> children. <laughs> that is the most sinister. <laughs> so odd. Drawing Bucky Barnes. Jimmy Kimmel Live. The actor is a man of many talents. Sebastian, so you've been working on, uh, you know, you've been working pretty seriously working. over there. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Very good. Photo shoot fun, Entertainment Weekly. Those photo shoots can be long. You've got to find a way to jazz things up. I'm just saying, there is no I in team, but there is an I in the Winter Soldier. So to have a good team, you need a good teammate with an I in their name. Playing musical beers, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Unfortunately for Jimmy, Sebastian really wanted that beer.
good enough. Reading Thirst Tweets with Anthony Mackie, BuzzFeed celeb. His reaction is priceless. Send tweet? Is that like me to like respond to the thing? Thank God yeah. I don't have Twitter and this is why! <laughs> um, because you don't like pistachios? No, I love pistachios. Oh. Cashews are my favorite though. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Chemistry with Anthony Mackie, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The big three. What big three? Androids, aliens, and wizards. That's not a thing. That, that's definitely a thing. No, it's not. So every time we fight, we fight one of the three. So who are you fighting now, Gandalf? How do you know about Gandalf? I read The Hobbit in 1937 when it first came out. A lot of choreography and precise planning go into creating these Marvel epics. However, that doesn't mean there's no room for improv. According to The Falcon and the Winter Soldier director Kari Skoglund, Stan and Mackie's phenomenal chemistry inspired their miniseries. Together, they're so on fire that she knew she could just let the cameras roll and they'd take care of the rest. So what's our plan? Great. So no plan. This is best exhibited during the therapy scene from episode two. You happy well, now? All right. All right. Yeah. Good. We're locked That's in. Fine. It's a little close. It's very close. That's what you wanted, right? Guys. Indeed. We can never get enough of what's arguably one of Marvel's most dynamic duos. These actors bring out the best in each other, and their partnership's nothing short of iconic. More Bucky and Sam on our screens, please. You call me when you have a lead, and I'll be there. Not necessarily as a team. Nope. We're not that good. Definitely not. We're professionals, definitely. And uh, we're partners, co workers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.